Hey, BJ Peters here from StampinBJ.com. I'm so excited to be here today to share with you a fun technique. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I just love sharing things with you. Today we're going to show, I'm going to talk about how to create this fun, glittery butterfly. Let's get started. Take a closer look at this gorgeous card. So this uses the Beautiful Day stamp set, which is new in the Occasions catalog from Stampin' Up! I used obviously the butterfly here and some a fun kind of uh, paper combination and I love the glitter. You are going to be amazed at how easy this really is. I'm starting off with a cardstock base that is a marina mist and it is four and a fourth inches by 11 inches scored and folded at five and a half inches and I'm going to use the word celebrate at an angle and I got the word celebrate from one of the free stamp sets uh, called Amazing You during our celebration promotion. Love this stamp set and you're sure to find many other samples of it on my on my website. So I'm just going to create myself a diagonal line here and just stamp the word celebrate repeatedly. It's kind of just a fun background. I always like to try and alter it so that it doesn't all line up perfectly because I'd never be able to get it correct if that was the case. And I'm just stamping tone on tone, so Marina Mist on Marina Mist cardstock. I think that's pretty good. Now to create the, the red, real red and the lemon lime twist, all I did was take some cardstock like this and put it across there and then just cut around the edges. So I'm, in this case, I'm actually gonna put my adhesive right on the card base. And then I'm going to put my real red cardstock right on top like that. Now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to cut around the edge. It's just easy just to cut right along the edge here. All right, there's one done. Now I want to create this white strip with that greeting on it. That greeting actually comes from the Beautiful Day stamp set, but I only want this bottom part. Let me show you a trick. I've mounted the stamp here on my block and I've used some um, old washi tape not my favorite color and I'm actually just going to ink up the bottom part here and then I'm going to stamp just that bottom part. Now let's mount that on our card and I'm just going to put again a, a strip of adhesive along there and I think I want that greeting way off to the edge so it doesn't matter how much I cut off so I'm just going to do that. Alright let's get a little bit of that lemon lime twist on the bottom. I think that nice bold color really brings out the the color on this card so I'm going to actually just use this scrap piece here and put it right along that edge and again the same thing just cut around the edge there we go it's just kind of like paper piecing I'm actually going to highlight it with um, some of the washi tape you can see from the sample here and this is the pick a pattern washi tape and I just wanted a narrow black strip and it just it just ended up highlighting it so pretty there we go and I'm just gonna, this, and this time I'm not gonna tuck it around back like I normally do. I'm just going to cut off the ends. Love that card base. Now for the really fun part, the glitter on the butterfly. I've gone ahead and stamped my butterfly in Memento Black ink, and I've colored it in with the Stampin' Blends. I used the Light Old Olive, the Light Night of Navy, and the Light Cherry Cobbler, because I love the bold, vibrant color. Then I have a piece of my multi-purpose adhesive sheet here and I'm going to go ahead and place that right over the top of my butterfly. And as you can see with that bright bold color it still shines through so I'm going to go ahead and cut out my butterfly. Yes I know it's a little fussy cutting but this one is an easy little fussy cut. I'm just going to cut around the edge. You don't, honestly, you don't have to be too exact. When you get to the antennas here, this is my suggestion. Don't worry about getting it too close because you don't want them to be too fragile. And look at how I'm kind of working in a triangle. That just seems to work really well for getting those pieces out. And you don't have to worry, again, about them becoming too fragile. And I'm just going to round that corner off there. Stampin' Up's paper snips are so good for, for this because they've got such a short blade and they're so sharp, so it's just perfect. All right, there we go, there is my butterfly. Now I can actually peel off 
this at the back side of this adhesive and I've honestly got a sticker which is sticky all over and I've got a tub here of my dazzling diamonds and I'm just gonna cover this with the dazzling diamonds the sticky will take a hold of all the dazzling diamonds so it won't be sticky anymore just have to make sure you cover the whole surface there we go and now I'm just going to kind of flick it, make sure that I got any excess off of it. So I just flicked off the excess, and I'm going to kind of pinch it in the middle a little bit here. And I'm going to add some glue dots right along this edge. Here's my glue dots getting down to the end here. Put a couple there next to each other. And then we're just going to add it to our cart, and we are done. I love it. It's like almost a little bit of 3D effect. I love the glitter. I love the paper piecing. It's so easy. And I hope that you enjoyed this technique. It's really fun. I hope you give it a try. You can purchase these products in my online store at stampinbj.com. And remember to create and feel great.